Am I the meanest? Pawn's drunk. Am I the prettiest? Pawn's drunk. Am I the baddest mofo low down around this town? Pawn's drunk. Well, who am I? Pawn's drunk. Who am I? Pawn's drunk. I can't hear you. Pawn's drunk. AKA Mr. Moo won't shine himself. Of Harlem. Hi, Mama. Robbery. Robbery. They robbery him. Ladies and gentlemen, they robbery Gustavo Limos. Robbery. Clean robbery. Ski mask robbery. No good, no fair, not right. Robbery, I say. Mm, mm, mm. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know this is Punch on Boxing, a.k.a. Mr. Moonshine himself, a.k.a. El Adobo, El Sazón, El Borracho, El Pastor de Boxeo. El Diablo is the one that's judging the fights now. Yes, the devil himself. Huh? The devil himself is the judge of the, uh, is, is judging boxing right now. Huh? Robbery completely. Robbery, coño. Estoy encojonado, mi gente. Estoy encojonado. Es robbery, I say. Robbery. Ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you have the aggressor that is just aggressive and not effective. But then you have an aggressor that is effective. That in multiple times haven't hurt. As a matter of fact, the referee, mi hermano, you should have called for, for, for uh, should have should have taken a point away for holding for the second half of the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, Le Le Lemo should be fighting, should be in the mandatory position of fight. Subriel Matias, not Richardson Hitchens. And knowing that if it was Subriel Matias in the ring with Richardson Hitchens, now I know. Ese tigre lo mata. Yo te digo, that's what I've been telling the people. That I, this is what I want for Subriel Matias. Subriel Matias to fight whoever is Liam Paru, boom, in June. And then I said in September, or, or September, or, or, or later on in the fall to fight Richardson Hitchens. Porque le va a meter la mano a ese tigre. Y le va a... You're going to smack him up in Brooklyn. And then in 2025, in June, he's going to become a big star. Because ese tigre una mierda. Ese tigre. Africa es una mierda. He's from New York City. Ese tigre una mierda. Robbery, my friends. Robbery, I say. This ain't, this ain't no Eric Salubin versus Jesus Ramos. Eso es robbery. Okay? That's robbery, all right? Mr. Clinch, Mr. Tag, you're it. And you know what? I was, I was, I was like, you know what? I wasn't even planning to see this fight, ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't planning to see this fight. Because I know little by little people say, yo, when you talk about the 140 pound division, why you never mention Richards and Hitches? Porque se tigre una mierda. What else? That's why I say, my friend. Huh? The other day we were we was talking about the 140 pound division, right? And you never hear me say Richards and Hitchens. You hear me say T.O. and Haney and Ryan Garcia. And I even say, I, I speak, I, I say Gary Anton Russell way more than I even say Richards and Hitchens. I say Brandon Lee even way more than Richards and Hitchens. Porque yo sé que ese tigre, ese tigre, un pillow puncher on, es una mierda. And from New York City, huh? from New York City. Ese tigre Africa, Africa. <sighs> My goodness. We talk about Subir Matias, Pitbull Cruz. We talk about Jose Ramirez. We even talk about Arnold Barbosa more than Richardson Hitchens in my channel. Huh? That's why you know that punch on boxing. We break it down unboxing logically and objectively. Because I'm from New York. I be I, I should I should be supporting my New York. I support, you know, I support. I even support Edgar Belanga. Even support Edgar Belanga, and the people don't even like it when I support Edgar Belanga. If he, he from New York, I'm at a Serrano from New York, Tio Vibro from New York. Ata, 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 el tigre, como se llama el tigre from Brooklyn, eh, his name, my friends. Um, eh, Chris Colbert. I even mentioned Chris Colbert in my channel. Yo no hago video de ese tigre de Richards and Hitches, porque ese tigre es un vagamundo. Es Richards and Hitches. Ese tigre un pelagato. Hey, he's robbery. Get the fuck out of here. Don't come to New York City. Get out there, in the, in, in the West Coast, Africa. Robbery, my friends. 
robbery, robbery. Yo, I would even understand if Richardson Hitchens was a hot commodity after the Pacheco fight. Almost like it, the half of the arena left. There was like 87, 86 people watching Richardson Hitchens in this fight. Half of the arena left. It wasn't even a packed house, but half the arena left after the Pacheco fight. Huh? And then and like 80, 87, 86 people stood, uh, like, like two, 15 people are the workers, um, um, 11 people was the production team. And there was only like, like in reality, all reality, it was like, it, 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 it was like 17 people in attendance. Jackie Hernandez in the building. La reina de boxeo. Dímelo, Jackie. Estoy quillao, Jackie. I, I'm leaving, man. I'm leaving, mama. Huh? I don't like it. That she. This is bullshit, my friends. This is bullshit. They had to do something about these judges. That 117, 111? 117, 111? 117, 111? That judges must be like this. Jab, maybe. Hmm. For the smell. All right, I see somebody in the corner. I may, I sense. Maybe a right hook. Well, maybe a left. Hmm, let's see where the crowd is at. Let's see where my senses is at. It feels like um, Richardson Hitchens won that round. Porque está mirando a esta gente. ¿Qué es? Eh? Que está mirando una gente. What happened? Dude, come on, my friend. If even if Richardson Hitchens was a hot commodity, then I could then, then I could understand. I could understand. You, you know, ladies and gentlemen, there's sometimes I understand the politics of boxing. I understand. Look, look, look. This is like WWE. We know that boxing is rigged. We know it, but we just love boxing, right? We know that boxing has is, is, is highly political. We know it's corruption in the sport of boxing. The fourth wall has broken in the sport of boxing. We know that we like we we he wins or he loses or is a robbery. And we understand that. We know sometimes that when you got the promotional show and you got the fighter, we know it may go your way. We know that. We know that. But also, I understand politics. Like, I understand if Canelo Alvarez was in a close fight like this, he gets the nod because he's Canelo. I understand if even Tio, right? Tio gets the nod top rank. I understand, but he's a hot commodity. He's a champion. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, Devin Haney, if it's a close fight, I could see. I could see Loma. If it's a close fight, even with Jermaine Ortiz, I could see going his way. I could see. I could see Tyson Fury versus Francis Nogano, even though the politics of the sport of boxing, but I could see it going his way. There's a lot of money invested. There's a lot of money for anticipation, but no hay nada con Richard Sehe. No hay nada con ese tigre. He only had 84 people in the arena today. And then for once, once, you know how we break everything? Do you know how we fix things in the sport of boxing? I'm tired of us saying that we need the promoters to fix things in the sport of boxing. It's the promoters. It's the sanctioning bodies. It's the judges. It's the refs. Fuck everybody. When is a fighter going to stand up and say, you know what? My brother, my nigga, you won the fight, bro. I I'm a fighter like you, bro. I would hate it to the, so it could be done to me. Let me take your hand and let me get in the post-fight interview. This man whooped me. He beat me. And that's when it stops. It's time for the boxers to take it into consideration, to take power into your own hands and grab that dude that whooped your behind. Hey, yo. Chris Maddox, I didn't, I didn't beat him. I didn't beat him. He won. And you know what's going to happen after that? I know Philip is never going to happen because there's too many fake motherfuckers in boxing. But I just wish it happens. And I'm going to tell you, that fighter that does do it, the fighter that grabs that, that he know he lost, and be like, he's the winner. And he points to the crowd in the TV and said, he's the winner. The boxing world will love Richardson Hitches. They will love him. 
Because we will be like, that's a real mother effer right there. And can you please give me a rematch? And then the boxing community will be like, you know what? That was a close fight. It was a good fight. You dogged it out. You know what? We would love to see a rematch because you kept it real with, you, with us. And we're going to keep it real with you. And we will want the rematch and get your get back. Why? Yo, this is a... No me calmame, calmame. High blood pressure. High blood pressure today, coño. High blood pressure. Coño, man. Everything is not about winning and losing, you Richardson hitching. You Richardson bitching. Everything is not about winning and losing, but it's how you win and how you lose. I don't know what the what the hell is wrong with these people with the O. Why you just can't be real? You real enough to step inside that ring. Ain't nothing realer than stepping inside that ring. Ain't nothing realer than that. So you just can't be real. You can't say this man with me. He said, you know, I landed some right hand. Get right hand, his right hand. You didn't do nothing, my friend. Hey, jabby jabby, he jabby jabby. Hey, fuck the jabby jabby. Call you, huh? What you count more? In the professional level, power punches count more than fucking jabs, right? It's clean, effective punches. Jabs, secondary, power punches is primary. Ring generalship. Who controls the three-minute intervals of each round? Motherfucker, he controls everything. Everywhere in the room, bro. Everywhere in the room, bro. But if he wants you in the rope, you in the rope. If he wants you in the middle of the ring, he wants you in the middle of the ring. If you were in the corner, you were in the corner. Bro, he dictated the pace. Effective aggression. That was effective. How many times we see this man get hurt? How many times we see the man get hurt? Defense, defense, defense. I know. Yes, Richardson Hitches. Yes, he did pretty good with the jab. Yeah, he stiffed the jab up. Yeah, we saw the jab and he jab and a jab, jab. We saw it. But it's not worth more than power punches, bro. It's not more, not worth more than power punches, bro. Shit. Senor, sorry, senor. Church, church tomorrow, Sunday, Domingo, church tomorrow. Let me relax, relax. High blood pressure, high blood pressure. <sighs> Leonardo Rodriguez, two dollar super chat. Que paso, punch. <sighs> Limonada had the win crazy. Gustavo Limonada won the fight, my friend. Gustavo Limonada won the fight. And Richardson bitching. Perdió la pelea, mi hermano. He lost, my friend. Robbery him. The robbery. Limonada, señores y señoras. The robbery him. Good looking now. Good looking now. Con los dos pesos de plátano. Guido, dímelo, mi hermano. Que ganó limonada. Ese tigre ganó. I'm telling you. You know what? <laughs> You know what got me tight? I wasn't planning to see this fight because all while I was thinking, all I was thinking is I'm going to waste my Saturday, my Saturday for this boring mother effort. I don't care. Yo, punch. Yo, you know that Richardson Hitch got skills, yo. I know he got a little point, little point to the tippity tap skills. I know it. He got amateur skills, man. When I want to watch the amateurs, I watch the amateurs, bro. I'm an amateur fan, bro. If I want to watch the amateurs, I watch the amateurs. If I want to watch professional boxing, I watch professional boxing. And me watching Richardson Hitches is not watching professional to me. That tippity tap, 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 tap dancing. I don't like it. Damn it. The real boss said Hitches is ain't nothing special. He never was special in the first place. Rap store boxing now is the voice of the UK London, bro. That's no good, bro. Huh? Robbery, my friend. Robbery. What's happened to Eddie Hearn, my friend, from over there in London? Ese mentiroso. Ese tigre un pelagato. Come on, man. I wouldn't want to. Come on. Any fighter that's looking on, if you are, if you a cousin, a friend, a mother, a father from a fighter, when is that fighter? I want to, I, man, I want to meet that fighter that's going to keep it real and be like, you know what? I lost the fight. You saying that ain't going to change nothing? 
going up to the 10th round, what the what, what did Zab Judah's father is telling him? What did Zab Judah's dad was telling Richardson Vincent? What did he was telling him? He said, yo, he's proud, he's up around. Heading to the 10th round or heading to the 11th, I think after the 10th round. As a matter of fact, I'm sorry, after the 10th round. He's had, he's, he's up one round, bruh. His whole team knew he was losing the fight. His whole team was losing. Hey, yo, man, you got to throw punches. It was one guy talking. Then it was two guys talking. Then you got Shakur Stevenson outside the ring. You even got Clarissa Shields. She, 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 she like, man, even Clarissa Shields that's rooting for Richardson Hitchens. Everybody knew he lost the fight. Even his own corner, bro. They was panicking, bro. They was panicking. Hey, yo, you got to throw more punches, man. You saw Zab Judas that. You got to throw more punches, bro. You got to throw more punches. Blah, 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 blah. You just gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. You think 117, 111 is close? 117, 111 ain't close. You telling me that like Limonala only won two round, three rounds? 117, 111? Hey, yo, I'm gonna tell you like this, man. These just gotta get shot in the kneecap. These judges, these judges gotta get got get popped in the kneecap, damn it. Nah, 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 you can't be just be walking around and stuff like that, like a judge and stuff like that, putting, hey, yo, these, these fighters risk their lives. This is probably the only opportunity that Limonada is going to have, bro. This is, the only, this is probably his only opportunity to sniff a belt, a title opportunity. Who is Limonada coming inside, coming into the ring? Nah, 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 man. Hey, Ripeki de Limonada, right? Ripeki de Limonada, señores. Gustavo Limonada, repacking him. No good, my friends. Robbery, man. They robbery him. They robbery, 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 dry, robbery, man. Diablo, así no, mi hermano, así no. ¿Y quién es ese tigre? Ese África. Ese tigre es un, palo, un palomo, señor. He's nobody in the, in the 140 pound division. Yo ni hablo de ese tigre, mi hermano. Hey, yo, yo ni hablo de ese tigre, señor. I don't even talk about that, that man. Huh? And I'm from New York City, baby. I never talk about that dude. That's when you know, hey yo, when you come to punch roll, hey yo, smash the like button. Mira, de que Lulu, de que Africa won. Mentiroso, say me. Mira, señor. Mira, mira, mira. Lolo, mira, de que Africa won. Mira, mentiroso. Mira, límpate la boca con jabón. Maldito sucio. Mira, coge ese dedo. And stick it up your fucking ass of yours. Oh, dry it up sin vasolina, mi hermano. Va, palomo, vete de aquí, señor. Hablando mentira, oíste. Deja de estar hablando mentira. Ladies and gentlemen, man, if you could lie to yourself, you could lie to anybody in the world. If you can lie to yourself, you can lie to anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hitchison. Hitch, Hitch is one. DK. DK Hitch is one. DK, he definitely outboxed him, friend. Tú no mi amigo, mi hermano, mentiroso, maldito sucio. Que friend y friend. I know I'm your friend, okay? You liar, my friend. You a liar. No, you're not my friend. You're not my friend, my friend. Get the fuck out of here. Como Canelo habla, dijo de Hermite Andre. Get the fuck out of here, my friend. Se tigre de que, de que, he outbox him. Outbox him and king. Huh? As of the referee, too. Come on, man. That dude was, man, that dude was clinching. That dude clinches, clinch more than a bunch of kids with Santa Claus, bro. Mira ese tigre. Yo, they even, hey, yo, I'm going to tell you like this. They even gave Mayweather a warning for them clinching a Manny Pacquiao. This man was clinching throughout the whole second half of the fight. Hugging. Ay, un abrazo. Un abrazo. Man, see, if I was leaving another man, get, man, get off me, bro. Yeah, ese tigre tiene un grajo. Referee, he's smelly right here. Look at this, referee. He just needed like this. He's smelly. Get him off of me already, okay? Diablo limonada, man. How they gonna do limonada like that? Smash it, smash it the like button, my friend. If you have, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, my friends. Man, Hitchens lost Mango. Ese tigre, he, he lost everything, bro. What he said in the post fight interview, I even I didn't even want to hear him in the post fight interview. Ese tigre tiene un bajo de boca. He's he's his breath is smelling. I didn't even want to listen to the post fight interview. Huh? His breath was smelling through my TV. No, ese tigre, no, 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 no. Vete de aquí. 
Chris Maddox, why you interview that guy? He's not he's not the winner. Man, get out, get out the ring. I would have been like this. <laughs> yo, hey yo, the zone, please hire me. I think boxing needs real shit. Hey yo, but hire me. I'm telling you like this. I would interview him. So Richard Hitch says, man, look, I had it because see why Chris Maddox don't tell him in his face that he that he lost the fight in his scorecard. It would have been like, hey, yo, Richardson Hitchens, I had it 115, 113. Dude, you feel like you won the fight? Yeah, man, I was landing. Yeah, I think you were winning the fight. Hey, my friend, you lose the fight, okay? Huh? Yo, you just get the fuck out of here. Hey, Limonada, come. I want to interview you. No, no light. No light to the TV, okay? No light to the hundreds and millions of people that's watching right now, okay? You're going to be real or you're going to be truth? So I'm going to ask you one more time, Richardson Beaching. Did you think you won the fight? Well, get well nothing, okay? You lost, motherfucker, okay? He beat you from pillar to post, so eat And también, you was holding like a little bitch. You was holding, right? So let me ask you again. Richard Hitchens, do you think you won the fight? Get the fuck out of here, Canelo Canelo Alvarez, hold the visa, Andre. Get the fuck out of here. No more payday for you, okay? I would have told him like that. Hey, yo, let me do the interview. Let me do the interview. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, let me do the interview, bro. Boxing needs, hey yo, boxing needs that shit. Boxing needs some realness, bro. Boxing needs that real. Boxing needs some real. Come on, Chris Maddock. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna have him winning, at least tell him in his face, right? Hey yo, didn't uh, uh um Caitlin Plant's wife when she was interviewing Roley and she said you was getting hit with a lot of shots. Chris Maddock told this man that he was gonna get he was getting hit with a lot of power shots in the body. See, this is what it is. Some judges don't want to judge the body work. And look what I said. Low nose boxing. Con los dos pesos de plata. No. Me dice. Besos for Jackie Hernandez. Team Hitches. And mira, mira. No me la habla la reina. Si me mito de que tirándole besos hasta ti. Hey, she a, she, a, she a queen, okay? Low nose boxing, all right? This is not a dating site over here. In Puerto Boxing. No le diga besitos a, 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 a esa mami, a esa chulita. Oíste. Con esos dos pesitos que tú me vas a tirar después de... Ah, no. Que tira más que eso. Que si no chipi la edad, ¿ok? That's it. You can't even buy a hot dog with a soda with two dollars. <laughs> ya, ni una sodita me puedo comprar con esa vaina ya. Con dos, dos pesitos. Y dos pesitos. YouTube is going to take 30%. Tú me vas a dar dos pesitos. ¿Qué son dos pesitos? Ni, ni una sodita me compro yo. ¿Ah? Not even, not even a patelito aquí en New York City. Ya, la mujer me dijo que okay, $2.50 for, for patelito de carne. Mira, ya sé, I can't even do, hey, con esos dos pesos, I can't even go to McDonald's and buy a McChicken. Remember the McChicken sandwich used to be a dollar or a dollar twenty nine plus tax. Ya, ¿qué son dos pesos? No me manden dos pesos ustedes, ya, co, que soy chipi, coño. ¿Qué voy a hacer con dos pesos? <laughs> Shout out to the supporters. <laughs> Por verdad que voy a hacer con esos dos pesos. Ah, ni una Coca-Cola me puedo comprar con esos dos pesos. Ah, ni un Snapple, not even the tropical fantasy back in the day. They used to cost fifty dollars. What about the Arizona Arizona can soda? They used to cost a dollar. That shit the cost that said two dollars plus tax in the gas station. That's it. Hey, yo, you can't even buy a mimbo with two dollars. Not even una menta. Una menta, that's it. La menta costs over two dollars. Nothing costs two dollars, bro. <laughs> what costs two dollars? <laughs> no, de verdad, my brother, de verdad. What costs two dollars? Huh? <laughs> Two dollars, you can get a bag of Doritos. Not even a bag of Doritos, my brother. You get two dollars, you get a bag of Doritos. You can't even get a bag of. You can't even get a bag of Doritos, man. What you talking about? You, you, you saw the. Hey yo, you can't even get. But hey yo, that's it, bro. <laughs> two, you can't get nothing for two. two hey yo, two dollars is like saying five cents back in the days. Hitchens said. He would let, oh my God, Wonder Man boxing. Did he say that in the post fight interview? Hitchison said he was levels above Limonada. He got gift. It, yo, it's good that I didn't even hear that. Because after the post fight, I was out like halfway the post fight interview. And once he said that he was landing right hands, I said, Mira, I'm going to go live right now. I don't want to hear that shit, my friend. 
I wasn't even gonna go live. I wasn't even gonna watch the fight, to be honest. Shout out to, to, to Pacheco, even though there was it was a tough fight, but he did get the win. I did have it 115. What I had it, I had it 90, 96, 94. I did have Pacheco winning. You know what I'm saying? Is he prepared for the guys to the likes of, of Canelo Alvarez? No, he's not. Is he prepared for David Benavides? His boy, no. Hey, yo, David Benavides was drunk today. <laughs> That David Benavides was drinking my moo shot today. <laughs> hey yo, David con los dos pesos. Que no me mande dos pesos, coño. No me mande eso. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I can find two dollars then in the bottom of my damn sofa. Manda me, manda me, que no puedo cenar con esos dos pesos. Not a hot dog. Yo, come, come to New York City. Go to Central Park and buy, eh, 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 ask the hot dog man for a hot dog. A ver si cuesta dos pesos. El hot dog, mira, cuesta cinco pesos. If you put ketchup on it, he add another dollar to it. <laughs> in Central Park, a hot dog costs $6. In Yankee Stadium, a hot dog costs $39.99. Huh? In Yankee Stadium, a hot dog costs $39.99. Nachos, $15, $27. And a Coke, and a Coke costs damn $18.50. I live in New York City. ¿Qué puedo hacer con dos pesos? Dos pesos no, 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 no hay nada aquí. Bro. Broke. What's up and let's talk boxing. Cállate mal la maldita boca. Ego pa, pa, ego palomo. Que tu me dediques, chocho broke ass up. Me, mira, mira mi hermano. Cállate la maldita boca y bañate, sucio viejo. Se apíate los dientes. And that, and that, and, and, and mira de que he think, mira te tigre de que he was pitching. He think that he's elegant. He think that he's elegant. Maldita, you a, you a pedo. You, you look like a pedo, like a, like a third grade teacher that is a pedophile. Vete de aquí, señor. Think of your broke ass. Clarissa Shield was so biased on the commentary. She was. <laughs> he said two dollars for a glizzy for punch. No diddy. <laughs> Yo, but David Benavides was drunky. He was like, hey, yo, what you think about the Pacheco fight? I don't know. You too sabe. He my friend. And I think he doing all right. And you know what I'm saying? I want Canelo. Uh, what you think that um, Pacheco should do to uh, to make adjustments, David Benavides? I think that, you know, he go a circle around, pivot around. I want Canelo. <laughs> <laughs> David Benavides, man. Um, do you see Pacheco adjusting and or hopefully getting a big fight if he comes with the victory? Uh, hopefully, I believe I'm, I'm here for him. You know, he got my 100% support. I want Canelo. Can you find Canelo for me, please? I want him today. I want him tonight. I want him every day. I want Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I want to find Canelo. Can you please? Please, Chris Marte. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you to find me. <laughs> hey, you, I should take, hey, better be this. you supposed to be in camp, man. Huh? I thought you learned, bro. I thought you learned from your past mistakes. Yo creo que se dio pata hoy. Today, David Benavides se dio pata today. Hmm? Se dio pata, David Benavides. Hey, yo, let me tell you like this, bro. This one, you know you don't got good friends around you because you know he twisted. Right when, right when Chris Maddox said, oh, can we interview you and stuff like that? If you if you his boy, you'd be like, nah, nah, Chris, man, he ain't doing interviews, man. He ain't right right now, nah. That's when that's when you know you don't got real homies, yo, because real uh, a, a real homie or the lady that was next to probably his wifey be like, no, no, no interview, no interview. He ain't right tonight. He ain't right. He's not right. Imagine he would have bust out crying. He went kind of <laughs> Chris Maddox, man. I want Canelo. How the hell he gonna give Jaime Munguia a chance, huh? 
He just come to 168. He getting chance. I'm here. You know, mandatory. Don't give me chill, man. Why are you asking me about Pacheco, man? Just one to five. All right. That you ain't fair, man. I'm the Mexican monster, man. I'm the Mexican monster. He don't charge a Canelo con right here. He get right a chance. Uh, he get he he get Jaime Munguia chat because I'm Ecuadorian. That's what it is. Because I'm Ecuadorian. Because I'm Ecuadorian. That's what it is. He don't see me. I'm Mexican, puro Mexican, blow Mexican. Uh, he see me like I'm Selena. Ah, uh, that's so he see me like Selena. No real, no real Mexican. Yo, Chiri Chiri, bamba Chiri. And AW in the building with the $5 super chatty chatty. Ahí, cinco pesos. Ahí, podemos comprar pizza con Coca-Cola con los cinco pesos. Me dice, MAW say, yo, hello. Boxing fans punch in the chat. Just got back from fishing. Bro, what I miss? What you miss? You miss another robbery in the sport of boxing. Another robbery. Good looking out, my brother. Good looking out, M.A.W. Another robbery. They robbery him, my friend, M.A.W. They robbery him. It's not good. It's not right. It's not fair. It's not right. <laughs> Yo, good looking out, M.A.W. Shadow Ghost in the building. What's good, man? Shadow Ghost. It was a good little event. But boxing always got to give us this. Can we go a year without a robbery? Can we just have a year of no robbery? It's almost like a, it's almost like in the hood. Can we just have a day where there's no fight? There's no gunshots. There's no robbery. There's no drug sales. They're just everybody's just living, you know, civilized and without sinning. Can we? Can we just hold hands and sing kumbaya motherfucking y'all? Ah, how about that? Come on, boxing. You got great momentum. We had a great 2023. And we still had, we still had robberies, Roly. But see, the boxing guy said it ain't gonna happen again. Now I know what 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 what, what Gustavo Limonada gonna do today. He's gonna contact his boy that got robbed last year, but he made up for this year. Huh? Yeah, I remember when my brother El Viejo got robbed. I know exactly how he feel. Yes, it happened to me, okay? It happened to me. I went, I had my opportunity, and they robbery me. So I understand how he feels. There's no right and there's no good. I understand, my friend, Gustavo, I ain't here for you. I ain't here for you. Me, Barroso, El Viejo, they're from the bingo hall, me. I got robbery last year, but I make it up. You're going to have another chance. Trust in God. Trust in Jesus Christ. And you're going to get another chance because it happened to me last year. And the boxing guys gave me a chance and an opportunity. And I made it right. And I knocked it. Fuck the guy. The guy the guy in the UK. I knocked him out. I, 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 I knocked him the hell out of him. Mamba in the building, what's good, man? Mira, mira, te tigre, mira, no nose boxing. Dike, Africa beats most guys at 140. No wonder Africa was talking about rehydration clause. I'm trying to go the WBC route. I don't want to go the IBF route. Yeah, because there's a killer in the IBF route, right? Because Subir Matias would have spanked his behind. And no, now for sure. A matter of fact, why he got to win anyway? Think about it, folks. Think about it, folks. If it was the pot, and this is what I was talking about in the beginning of the in the beginning of the live. If if I understand politics, bro, I understand corruption, corruption. I understand it. I understand it. With Richardson Hitches, when he says I'm not gonna face Subir Matias because he said he said it the other day, I'd rather go the WBC route. Before that, he said he was talking about that he don't want to go the IBF route because of the rehydration clause. So if you're telling the sanctioning bodies that you really don't want Subir Matias, 
Why are y'all going to corruptly give him the nod? Can you imagine Gustavo Limonada versus Subriel Matias? Wouldn't that, that be a good entertaining fight? That would have been an entertaining fight for us. Randy, Randy in the building. Randy con la bandera de República Dominicana. La música de Randy, la música de Randy. ¿Dónde está la música de Randy? La música de Randy. Robert Rick. No, 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 no. No, Robert Rick. De Robert Rick. Hey, de Robert Rick. Hey, de Robert Rick. Hey, de Robert Rick. Hey. No fair. No good. No right. No right. It's no good. It's no fair. It's no right. Pagame la música, DJ Camelo. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con el boxeo? Matías will stop hitching. Nah, that fight is not going to happen. <laughs> hey, yo, that fight is not going to happen. Mira, hey, yo, that fight is not going to happen. That fight is not going to happen. Ah, huh? Lono's boxing. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, the, 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 trying to, he's trying to justify everything. I had a 115-113. My brother Lono's boxing is not that the 115, 113 is a robbery. The 117, 111 tells the boxing world that it was no way that Limonada was going to win the fight. Why you think people was mad of the Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G? Lono's boxing. Why you think people was mad about that? You know why? It wasn't that it wasn't a close fight. The robbery was that 118 110 car. That what got people mad. The 118 110 110 car. It wasn't that it was a it wasn't a close fight. It was a great fight. Triple G versus Canelo Wilder was a great fight. But the robbery was that 118 110 that tells you that there was no way they would give Triple G the fight. So it's not the 115 113, my nigga. Is the 117, 111, that's the robbery that tells everybody that it was no way that Gustavo Limonada was going to win the fight. Giselle said, Mira, te pillo. Ni vale eso, porque. Coda Boricua in the building. Me dice, I ain't going to lie. When he got hurt and reaction were were recovered and that he hurt Limon, um, Limonada, I was impressed. Cora, who you think won the fight? Cora. Ben, ben, ben pa acá. A ver, ven pa acá. Who you think, who you think won the fight? Cora. Mi amigo, mi amigo. Puré. Dímelo, dímelo, mi amigo. Puerto Rico, Boricua, Carolina, Bayamón, Aguadilla. San Juan, oh San Juan, Dime Coda, who you think won the fight? Ben Coda, háblame, háblame Coda. I hear you, bro, but you are saying, Lono's boxer said, I hear you, bro, but you are saying the fight was a robbery. It was close. Screw the judges. It was a close and close isn't robbery. Is robber. Diablo, didn't I explain? <laughs> hey, yo, Coda. He said, I just, I just think that Hitchens isn't fan friendly. I didn't ask you that, Coda. Coda, who won the fight, Coda? Coda, who won the fight? I don't care about being fan friendly. And let me let me tell you like this: He was he fought back. He fought back. He tried to fight back. No te rías, Coda. No te rías. Dime who won the fight. I say, okay, you're my friend. A friend is asking another friend a question, so I want my friend to give me the uh, another friend an answer.
only fan book a Mexican pop. The world is yours says robbery. Let me see what the what the what the 242 people voted so far. 22 people feel that Hitchens won. Mira, the 22 percent, the 21 percent now. Shout out to the 79 percent so far who's voting. I hope everybody's voting. The 21 percent. Mira, ustedes, maldito. Mira, it's Sunday today. What I want you to do, Mira, for the 21 percent right now, for the 21 percent that had Richardson Hitchens winning. I want you to go to church tomorrow. You know, even go to even go to a Catholic church. A Catholic church is always open 24/7. And I want you to go into the into the into the front of uh, of the pulpit. There's some oil. There's some, you know, um you know, oil, you know, so they could put in the forehead and stuff like that. Right? The holy oil, whatever they want to call it. I want you to take the oil and grab a bucket of, uh, of holy water. I want you to go to the church and take a shower with the holy water where Irish springs. And, 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 and then take a shower with that. Y límpate la narga con eso así. Límpate el culazo así, coño, con esa vaina. Mentiroso ustedes, los 21 percent of the riches and hitches won that thing. Huh? Mentiroso, maldito sinners. Luma said, holy water is not biblical. You know what I'm talking about. Now he want to be technical with me. You know that holy water is not biblical. You know what I'm talking about. What's well, has got to be like a little smarty pants. Huh? Well, you know what? You know that holy water is not biblical. Have you ever studied the biblical laws? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> it just... Hitchens, Mira, Giselle, Giselle, dice. Hitchens won seven, eight rounds for a fact. Also, he won 116, 116, 1, 1, 112 on your scorecard. Verdad, Giselle? Mentirosa, coño. Verdad, maldita hedionda. Hedionda, bañate, mujer. You Eastern fiction, motherfucker. I don't know. I watched it back to say for sure. Mira, mira, mira. You don't want to say his he coda. See, you know what it is, Coda. You know what I know it is, Coda. A ti te gusta jugar. You like to play devil's advocate with your boy, Mr. Moonshine. You like to play devil's advocate. Because you want to see the fight again. But you 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 talking about the fight right now, huh? Es porque you know that I'm fuming right now, huh? Because you know I got the energy, 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 huh? Huh? You feeling that pressure, huh? You feeling the pressure? And also, also in the 12th round, and in the last 10 seconds of the 11th round, Richardson Hitchens was on his bike, okay? Tells me everything I need to know of who wants really the fight. In the end of the 11th round, in the last 10 seconds, you ain't supposed to give not even one inch, not even pause, not even one, one minute, one minute. All those rounds, all those rounds was needed by Richardson Hitchens. All those rounds. See, I knew the, the, the I thought they was going to give it at least. I thought they were, the corruption, in my opinion, was going to be the draw. The political scorecard was going to be the draw, in my opinion. Charles Edward Cheese in the building. Con los cinco hundred Super Chari Chari Parike! A comprar un carro nuevo del año! La música de queso, queso, queso! Everybody, queso, everybody, queso, everybody, queso! He got his own money. Say he's got his own money. I mean, the boy has got his own money. Queso! 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 He's rich. He is 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 rich. He
DJ Camelo, Alex Sensation, págame la música de queso y Anketi. Queso. The robbery. Another robbery, man. It's not good. It's not right. It's not fair. There's no good. Past eh, queso. Gracias, mi hermano. Te quiero, mi hermano. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my brother, with the $500 super chatty, chatty party game, my friend. Do you see the fight, queso? You saw the fight, queso? Did you see it? Mm? Háblame, queso. Tú viste la pelea. Punch. You ain't even read my ish. Pera, 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 coda, coda. Good looking out. Appreciate you. Coda Hunter of the Hunt in the building with the $10 super chatty chatty party que a comprar comida china mañana for breakfast. Me dice, just getting here, Punch. Hitchison lost that fight for sure. Those judges are terrible. Mira, estamos hablando de eso. Hunter of the Hunt. Yo. Yo, that's that, that. That's why. That's why when you don't know, when, uh, when you argue boxing and you debate boxing, and when you debating and then people be like, "I so put money on it." So if, if you so confident about your boy, if you so confident about your pick, how about let's bet on it? Let's bet. And what I always say to the people that that approach me with betting, I don't bet on boxing. I do not bet on boxing. I don't care if I think that this man is going to win. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if he if, if if he's he's plus five million. I don't care. You know why? Because in boxing, it's too corrupted, bro. It's too corrupted. Too corrupted. It's not the 115, 113 that I'm mad of. Because I could see the second round, and I could see the 12th round. I could see the 12th round, it could go either way. I could see the 12th round and the second round. Look, and I put it on my Twitter. I put it on my Twitter. I was doing, I, I did, I did. Look, I'm not going to say that it wasn't a close fight. Is that the 117, 111 made it look like there was corruption in this, in, in this fight? Is the 117, 111. You cannot tell me that Gustavo Limonada won only three rounds. You can't, bro. That's a, that's a lie. That's a robbery right there. Can't meet her. I was scoring the whole bout. I was scoring the whole bout, meet her. I even had Limonada 30 27. Hitchison was getting back. Yes, Hitchison was Hitchison was coming back. Look, I even had a, a, a tie at 57 57, 67 50. Look, I'm not gonna say there wasn't a close fight. I wasn't saying that. But then, boom, look at my last. I said, 115, 113, Limonada wins on my scorecard. But it was close in the 12. What the judges value more, the jab or body shot? I won't be surprised if judges have it 114, 114. I wouldn't be surprised if the judge have it 114, 114, because I understand Richardson Hitchens. I understand Eddie Hearn. I understand matchroom boxing. I understand it. I understand it. But, but, but also I say, I say, Richardson Hitchin is not a hot commodity like that where I have to tamper with my integrity. Yeah, you was on that moonshine, bro. Limos lost. He ain't lose. Bro, 115 for Limos is automatic. Hitchens win. No, man, there's no way I could see fuck Hitchens winning the fight, bro. Yo, Punch, do you have IG or X? Hunter of the Hunt. Yeah, Punch Run Boxing. Punch Run. Punch Run. On X and Punch Run Boxing on, in, 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 um, on IG. He said, Coda. Coda said, Eddie Hearn's been trying to promote him. Yeah, but, he, but he's not promotable, bro. 
The only thing that's linked to Richardson Hitchens is that he's he's, he's just one of the goons of or, 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 of Shakur Stevenson and, and, and Javante Tank Davis. That's his relevancy, bro. Uh, let's be honest. Yes, he was a good amateur. He's from New York City. Of course, he's a good amateur. But for me, his style was not translating to the professional level. It's not going to translate to the professional level at the, at the elite level. I don't think so. I just don't think so. I think that I, I don't think that jab is is is, is that special. He got a jab, but ain't, it, it ain't no Bevor jab. It's not even a Devin Haney jab. But even Devin Haney's jab at the highest level is getting timed. It was getting timed by Jojo Diaz, and it was getting neutralized by Vasey Lomachenko. You got to give me more than just a jab. Put it this way: this what I and this what I said about. When we was when we were talking about the Devin Haney and Vasily, and, and Vasily Lomachenko, when we were talking about what's effective punches, right? Okay, judges count clean, effective punches. If I'm landing jabs, but that jab is not even stopping you on the tracks, and you're still pursuing me, you're still pursuing me. I'm jabbing you. How much is the jab affecting Gustavo Limonada? Remember the remember the 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 the, the criteria of judging a fight is clean effective punches, clean effective punches landed, clean effective punches, clean effective punches. This ain't no pity pat. This ain't no pity pat. Um um um, um amateur the way they score that in the amateurs whoever throws more punches and stuff like that wins. Whoever's active and, you know, on the huff and the puff and wins. So Richardson Hitch is still fighting with that amateur skill set. You're getting outworked. You're getting outworked. You know what I'm saying? You're not landing power punches. If you was landing enough power punches, okay. But if you if 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 if, if it's just your jab, then people are gonna be like, oh, but what about when um um let me see another fight? Another fight. I don't think that Jesus Ramos was as effective as Gustavo was. Jesus Ramos and I had and I had Erickson Lubin. I had a 114-114 Erickson Lubin. I said he and it could go either way, right? But because Jesus Ramos was he was aggressive, but he wasn't effective. He wasn't touching Erickson Lubin in the in in, in the in the last several rounds but gustavo was touching hitchens bro he was touching him man mamba mentality con lo 20 peso the super chari chari party game and he said west coast at tapping in work was busy as f miss ncaa i was watching the ncaa earlier i wanted to watch wrestlemania um, and the fight needs to catch up. Anyway, I learned it. If you watch fights for the second time, you most likely see the bout more clearly than the live fight itself generally. Look, even Clarissa Shields in the booth was going for Richardson Hitchens, and she said that he lost. Mora said that he lost. Chris Maddox said that he lost. I haven't even checked Twitter back to see what other fighters said about the fight. Let me see what Sean Porter said because Sean, that's Sean Porter's style, right? And Sean Porter was also Sergio Mora said everyone wanted Richardson Hitchens to be more exciting, and he gave it to you. It almost cost him his undefeated record. Le, um, Lim, Limos was a dog tonight. What a fight! Okay, not sure. Dan Raphael says not sure if the zone would have interviewed Lemos, but was told he didn't stick around and left the ring quickly in tears. Come on, man. Uh oh. I done put my hands on her, but she's so hard. Clarissa Shield trying to. 
You know, you heard what Clarissa Shields said. Clarissa Shields said that she, uh, cause um Alicia Baumgartner said that she she got the look. She's the sexiest boxer alive. And Clarissa Shields said she shouldn't be talking about looks. Man, she's the one of the sexiest boxer alive. Clarissa Shields don't even you, you don't even talk don't even talk about looks <laughs> when it comes to Alicia Baumgartner. You leave that one alone. All right, let's see the scorecard. Let me see. The 117, 111. Look at this. Mira ta mierda. The 117, 111. Yo. Yo. This, this judge gave round 9, round 10, round 11, and round 12 to Richardson Hitchens, bro. This judge gave, yo, that's robbery, bro. The other judges, let me see. Well, let me see what I gave. All right. Let me Snapchat this. I had a 115, 113 myself. Let me see what 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 if it matches. Okay. I gave. All right, this is now I had a 95-95. Then let me see. So I gave. Hold on. Okay, it's tied. This is round seven. Eight, nine, ten. No, no, eight. Okay. After round eight, 76, 76, nine, I gave Lemon. I gave Richardson Hitchens 10. I gave Lemon 11 and 12. So I only gave Richardson Hitchens. The championship, uh, one round of the championship round. Matias versus man, that would be good, bro. Bang, bang, that would be good. But I hope that this corruption and this robbery, then we are going to see Richardson Hitchens versus Subir Matias in New York City. How you think Matias is going to do? With Richard, um, Richard, um, um, Richard Hitchens. Another thing, the ref didn't do it. Call that man out for clinching. Like exactly, man. He should have been taking the point off. Should have been taking the point off. Alicia Baumgarten is fine. No one touching my undisputed queen since yeah, Shrada J. Rich said. One seventeen, one eleven is trash. Yeah, that's the robbery card. Lemons robbed. Facts. Put him to sleep. Hitchens is trash. Dude's style of boxing is horrendous to watch. To be honest, Raphael, he actually did better this time around than the last. I'm not going to... Look, look, look. Because now people are saying on Twitter, I could read, basically saying, yeah, I wanted to see Richards and Hitchens, um, you know, go for the gusto, entertain more. So what? They still would have gave you credit even if you would have lost, bro. People, people would have been like, you know what, damn, Richardson Hitchens, he fought back, but he just got beaten by the better man. I don't understand. Like, like I don't understand these. This, yo, I think we're living in a time right now in the sport of boxing that fans don't give a damn about your cheap ass O, bro. It, it doesn't justify anything. Look at what Pitbull Cruz is at right now. Look at what Subir Matias is at right now. Look at what T.O. is at right now. Who cares about? Look where Juan Francisco Estrada is at right now. It don't matter, man. The fans really don't. I, I don't. What fan base really like care about the O? What fan base? What fan base? Like we saw how that deteriorated the sport of boxing when Mayweather only caring about his O. Yeah, it worked for Flo Mayweather, but it hurt boxing because look. 
Floyd Mayweather, it worked for Floyd. But because it worked for Floyd and he became the most lucrative fighter, then people wanted to follow that type of blueprint and think that, that that's the blueprint for every boxer that comes after Floyd Mayweather. That's what happened. It's like a gift and a curse. It's good for Floyd Mayweather's legacy, but it hurt the sport of boxing and how managers, advisors, and fighters see. That's why they don't risk it because they're thinking about the money, the Mayweather blueprint. So we got to do what works what, what because Floyd Mayweather did it. And, you know, he wasn't that much as money made. He wasn't that much of an exciting fighter. Yes, when he was pretty boy Floyd, he took risk. But when he was money made, he didn't really take the risk in terms of, you know, going for the gusto and things of that nature. I think that I, I think that boxing need to change. Not, I'm not saying that you that the aggressive fighter always wins. No, no, even an effective aggressive fighter. If Richardson Hitchens was landing some some power punches, as much as he was landing the jab, then yeah, I probably go and give it to Richardson Hitchens. But when you're when this guy is knocking you with the right hand. Hitting you with left hooks, hitting you with uppercuts, hitting you with monster body shots at the same time, and hurting you visibly. That you're you're off balance. Even what 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 did what did his corner even tell him? He said, "Yo, my man, you you you, you get well, every time you're getting hit, it's like your body is all over the place." Richardson Hitchens' corner was real with him throughout the in, in between every round. They was real with him. A matter of fact, the way they were scoring the bout was actually the way that we that 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 I was scoring the bout. He said, "Guido said, who you talking about punch? Because you know Latino fighters support their fighters no matter how many laws." No, no, that's what I'm talking about. That that um. Fans truly don't give a damn about the oh what the fans like. Is for you to go out there and fight, go out there and fight, and and effort is everything for the fans. Effort, effort. It's corrupt. Well, if he dictates the flow, it's what made it a good fight. Not hugging. He told them, let them hands go. He dictated his four criteria. He's dictated. He was the ring general of the fight. He was the ring general of the fight. It was his pace. When, we, so when we're talking about ring generalship, they say who controls the three-minute intervals of each round? Who controls the pace of the fight? I'm not saying that Richard Hitchin didn't do a good job as well with the jab. I didn't say he didn't do, he did a good job with the jab off the back foot as well. And especially in the middle of the round and in the middle in the middle rounds. He did he did good. He did good. Um again, I had a 115-113. The outcry is the 117, 111. That's the outcry. That's the outcry. I'm going to say it again. I had it 115, 113. It was a close fight. The robbery is the 117, 111 that lets everybody know that there was no way that Gustavo was going to win the fight. No way. It was just no way he was going to win the fight. And think about it. If you, if, you, if, you, if you, Gustavo, you're like, what more did I have to do? His energy was great. His energy, his pursuit, his pressure was 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 good. What more could he have? What more could he have done? That's why he cried and didn't want to stay to do a post fight interview, man. And sometimes promoters, just like with Maxi Hugh, I believe that Maxi Hugh beat George Camboso, right? But he got a big fight with William Cepeda, but it wasn't a championship fight. And now he lost to Williams Cepeda. Now Maxi Hugh would never get an opportunity for a world title shot. See, because if they, if they would have gave it to Maxi Hugh, then he would be the one that's fighting Vasily Lomachenko with the for the vacant IB for the vacant um um IB. I think what were they fighting for for the IBF? Yes, they robbed him, bro. They robbed him. Nick Benson, I'm black and I have Hitchens winning the fight. I mean, who act who 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 asked about anybody ethnicity? That's how we pick them now. 
Is that how we, Nick? Is that how? Is that how? Is that you're saying that? Oh, that's like a quote. So you you only got you only you only got Hitchison winning because you're black. That Robbie was crazy. Yeah, man. He said he probably not even black. Loma, the last fighter with actual skills, talent in the ring. All these other guys be capping. Not that judge, dude. Hold the L. I mean, if you like robberies like that, are cool. I mean, they, they, if there's fans like that that want to justify. Let me see how many. So let me let me know this thing. So, 78% got Lemos winning, and 22% got Hitchens. So, you're trying to say that six, 78% of the people are, like, delusional? Is that you trying to say? Come on, y'all, man. Triple X in the building. What's good, man? Hunter the Hunt says, I'm black, and Hitchens got his ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Girl, they got that. Hey, yo, they got that OJ Simpson effect. Nah, man, I'm black, so OJ Simpson is not guilty. Nah, 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 nah. I'm black, so R. Kelly wasn't peeing on nobody's girl. On no teenagers or no underage girls. I'm black and all Kelly and P on nobody. As a matter of fact, I'm black and Diddy don't be having them little rainbow, rainbow parties and stuff like that. Because I'm black. <laughs> Good looking at Hunter the Hunt. See, I'm not like, I keep it real, man. When I say, hey, yo, I'm Dominican, and I say, hey, yo, Edo de los Santos, they do ish. I'm Dominican, I be like, hey, yo, um, uh, um, Hector Luis Garcia is going to get beaten up and going to be, uh, that, that going to be a plot that I'm going to turn into a totones. Even I'm Dominican, man, I'll be, I'll be telling, I'll be saying that my, the, a Dominican fighter is going to get his ass whooped because he's Dominican. I mean, Jason Rosario, he caught the Holy Ghost with a jab by Jamel Charlo, caught the Holy Ghost. A worse robbery was Teal versus me. I mean, I know, I know, I know, Coda. I know, I know, I know you're trying to do Coda. I know what you're trying to do, Coda. I know. Yeah, I know. At least Gustavo was going for the fight. Them other dudes was running from him. How about that, Coda? They wasn't Gustavo. Sandal Martin wasn't Gustavo. Huh? Jermaine Ortiz wasn't Gustavo. They wasn't out there trying to win the fight. They was running for cover. And that's why they gave the nod to Tio Coda. Huh? Now, if Sando Morton had the balls and Jermaine Ortiz had the balls to chase, to chase down Tiafima Lopez instead of him trying to chase them down, then maybe they would have got the nod. Mimi with the five dollar super chat, man. He say closer fight than judges score could have been draw. I said, I said on my tweet, I'm not saying it wasn't a close fight, but just like, just like, okay, why we thought like, and I said, I, and I said this earlier, why did we, why did people think that the Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G was a robbery? Because of that 118, 118, 110 card. It says that Triple G only won two rounds. Nobody cared about the other. The other. This will had it. Let's see if we could pull it out. This. 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 This is why we. Everybody was calling it a robbery. It was almost the same thing. Hold on. Look. Alvarez Golovkin for 
The scoring call was 113, 115, 114, 114, 118, 110. That's why everybody scored it a robbery. That's why people scored it a robbery, that 118, 110 card. It wasn't that it wasn't a close fight. It was a close fight. It was a close fight. It was a close fight. And the, the first fight, I love the first fight. I love the first fight, bro. I love that Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G, the first fight. But that 118, 110 card killed everything. People forget that that fight, yo, I, I even watched it last month. I was scoring it again. That fight, and I'm like, yo, this fight was really, really competitive, bro. It was really, really good. It was close. Everybody liked the, the fight. That 118, 110 card is what made everybody feel like it's corrupted. That one judge can mess up the whole fight. So the other judge that gave Richardson Hitchens 115, 113. I don't think a lot of people was mad. I don't people are not calling the 115, 113 the robbery. Even though there's gonna be people that 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 had Gustavo. I there's more people that have his 7-5, just like I had his 7-5 for him. I had his 7-5. But then if there's a close round, then it could be a, 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 a draw. But that 117, you think that Gustavo only won three rounds? You think that 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 Gustavo Limonada won three rounds? Three rounds? Three rounds. All of that. And he gets three rounds. Come on, man. I feel sorry for that cat, bro. I feel sorry for that man, man. That shit ain't fair. Not like that, bro. Not like that. These fighters don't deserve to get robbed like that, man. These fighters don't deserve to get robbed like that. You know, if the other judge would have said 115, 130, if all the judges would have said 115, 113, how about put it this way? If two of the judges had a 115, 113, and one of the judge had a 114, 114, all right, man. You know what I'm saying? But 117, 111, he, he, in his mind, he's that said, I got robbed. <laughs> Gustavo was putting hands on Hitchens. He was, man. He was hurting him, man. He was hurting him. Let me tell you like this. Riches and Hitchens know how to survive. Yet, the referee let too much holding, bro. It was too much holding. You got to give at least a warning, man. The referee ain't even give the guy a warning. So think about it. If the referee doesn't give Riches and Hitchens a warning, the Riches and Hitchens are always going to grab. Every time he got close, every time he was just holding, clinching, clinching, clinching. It was a clinch fest. By by Richardson Hitchin, especially in the second in, in 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 the in the late second half of the fight. If 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 the referee's not gonna warn you, you're gonna keep on doing it. And then they could warn you, you're gonna keep on doing it. If they warn you again, and then they tell you if you do it again, I'm gonna take one point off. Guess what? Gustavo will, will stop, he will stop it. Gustavo will Gustavo Limonado will stop Richardson Hitchens. If the referee would have warned all them clinchings, because then it's gotta, it, it comes to a point where he needs to stop clinching. And then right there, Gustavo opens him up, beat him up. I think he should have been taking a point off. I think a point, but guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Even the point off would have never got him to fight. It would have got him a draw. And then it still would have been what was it? It still would have been cut. It still would have been 116, 111. It still would have been 116, 111 on the other scorecard. Even when the point taken off, he still would have never won the fight. Well, maybe. Would have been 114, 113. It just being at Diddy's house too much. Ain't nobody would invite that dude. I don't know, man. Hopefully, look, we've seen two guys get robbed, and, and both of these guys got decent opportunity. I hope that he gets a decent opportunity. Um, but you know what the way that he fights, who's gonna who, who's gonna wanna who's who who's gonna wanna give him an opportunity? Just look how the way he was fighting, he was so efficient. Who's gonna give him an opportunity? Who's going to give him an opportunity? 
I think he deserves for somebody to sign him. I think I think with a uh, with a who he, uh, I don't even know who he signed with, but man, I feel bad for him, bro. I think he deserves uh, uh, to be signed to a good promotional company, and I think that he'll be he'll be he'll be somebody in 140. He will upset somebody in 140. Can you imagine Gustavo and Pitbull Cruz, bro? Can you imagine Gustavo and Pitbull Cruz? Shit. I don't. Th let me see where he's at in the rankings because let me see where he's at in the rankings because I don't. I don't think that he should be. Um. I don't think he should be dropped from the rankings. Let's see. Let's see where Gustavo's at in the rankings. All right, let's see what Gustavo at. He's nowhere in the WBO. Damn, man. And he was 29 and old, bro. How about Gustavo versus Regis Prograce? I think that'll be a good fight. Let me see where Gustavo is at. In the WBC, he's number 10. No, he's number 12, and he's going to be dropping lower than that. Gustavo. No, I'm sorry. He's not even ranked in the WBA. So. <sighs> Damn, man. How about Gustavo versus Jermaine Ortiz next? Gustavo versus Jermaine Ortiz, I think that'll be a good fight. Jermaine Ortiz is number nine. Gustavo is number seven. Hopefully he don't drop lower than that. Barbosa is already going to be fighting. Elvis Rodriguez probably got a fight lined up. Jose Ramirez is number 12. He got a fight. Yeah, the only good fight I could see is Jermaine Ortiz versus Gustavo. That at least he gets a decent name. He's not ranking the WBO, so he can't even get nothing there. He he can only get a fight in the WBC and in the W. And if you look at the WBC as well, yeah, I think the the the, the best fight. Um, Hey, yo, this guy that Tiffany Lopez is fighting is ranked number seven in the WBC, and he's ranked number 15 in the WBO. How about Gary Russell Jr.? He got a Gary Russell Jr. fight. How about that? That will be good. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, man. That's effed up, man. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe to the channel right now. Hey, yo, subscribe right now. Press that subscribe that subscribe um button right now. Come on, y'all. Come on, man. We got we we need to head to 50k before 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 the summer. Let's go to 50k before the summer. Let's go to 50k before the summer. Hitches needs to fight Brandon Lee. Nah, 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 nah. I think he needs to handle. He needs to handle these pressure fighters better. Man, Gary Antoine Russell will beat Richardson Hitchens. I think that Gary Russell beat Richardson Hitchens in the amateurs. I think both of these guys beat each other, but I think I, I think Gary Antoine Russell. I think Gary Antoine Russell beat Richardson Hitchens in the amateurs. I think Gary Russell. I think Gary Russell did beat um, Richardson Hitchens in the amateurs. If I recall, because Gary Russell Jr. was being everybody. Gary Russell Jr. I'm sorry, not Gary Russell Jr. Gary Antoine Russell. He beat he beat Richardson Hitches in the amateurs, and he beat Boots Ennis at the amateurs. He beat Jermaine Ortiz in the amateurs. Who else he beat in the amateurs? 
Yeah, Gary Antoine Russell was beating everybody in the amateurs. How did Pacheco do? He did all right. 23 years old. The highlight of his fight was David Benavidez being drunk. The Mexican drunkie. <laughs> yeah, let me see how many views I got on IG of that. I posted it. Let me see how many views I got. Damn. Damn, already going to 2,000. I posted on my IG. I posted a video of of of, of David Benavides being a drunkie on my Twitter and, and IG. Let me see. Someone said Tim Cheatham. That's no drunk. That was fentanyl. Yo, we from NY Punch. Don't do that. Rich one. Gustavo is a good guy. But see now, nah, man, that's the difference between me and these other channels, Lulu. I break it down unbiasedly, logically, and objectively. I can't lie to the people just because I'm from New York. Yeah, I want to support them. But just like we New Yorkers, Lulu, we keep it real. You feel me? So we got to keep it real. What they, what's the, what's the, um, um, reputation of New York, man. They talk a lot of crap. They snap on each other. You know, we got attitude or whatever they want to say that, man, we got to keep it real, bro. How How is Richardson Hitchens going to get better if we're going to be like, yeah, he won the fight? No, he didn't win that fight. He didn't win that fight. It was a close fight, but he didn't win that fight. There's no way I could tally, tally it up by him winning. There's no way. Nah, man, I got to keep it real, man. I keep it real. I keep it real with all the fighters. No nah, man, I ain't gonna lie. See, not see. That's what I'm, you're gonna be biased. So then you're then or then, send Lulu. Then you're saying all of this because you're from New York. Nah, man. You right? Or even even Clarissa Shields was going for. For Richards and Hitchens, but she couldn't lie. He said, bro, we watch the fight sometime tomorrow, whenever. I'm not going to see Lemons didn't win more rounds. Watch. you. Come on, man. Come on, man. You telling me you agree with the 117-111? You really think that Gustavo won three rounds, Lulu? Come on, man. Come on, Lulu. Come on, Lulu. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Just, but you already so you already said because you're from New York. So you had to give it to you got to give it up for your New York fighter. He should have got a warning. He should have matter of fact, passed the warning. He should have got a point taken away already. The warning should have been said a long time ago. It lasted for like eight rounds, man. It, it, nah, nah, I'm going to say like, like seven rounds of holding, bro. Seven rounds. At one point, the referee had to give a warning. But guess what? Why give a warning? He's the promoter's fighter. If it was the other way around, come on. But ladies and gentlemen, man, it's late, man. It's late. I waste all the energy. We got to talk about this tomorrow, man. We got to talk about this tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go live a little earlier than usual. We're going to go live. Sick. Nah. Yeah. 
We're going live like around 8.30 p.m., 7, 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's freaking obvious, the robbery. Yeah, man, we're going to be talking about this. Because the 140-pound division is a stacked division. And now, you know what, I got to give a lot of credit to Gustavo. We got to give a lot of credit to Gustavo, and I hope that his stock don't drop. I hope that his stock don't drop. But, ladies and gentlemen, good looking now, man. Hope, hope everybody going to have a great Sunday. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be dropping more videos tomorrow. We're going to go live tomorrow. Um, if you haven't support, support the podcast, support the podcast. Um, I just dropped the video today. Not, I'm sorry. I just dropped the episode 73's. Episode 73 of Punch Run Boxing's podcast. You can get it on Spotify. Spotify. Matter of fact, let me, let me just show you right now because, you know, some people be man lazy. So you go to Spotify. Boom. You go to Spotify. Boom. Right there, you go to Punch Drum, Punch Drum Boxing. All right, you go to Share, you go to Punch Drum Boxing. Boom, Punch Drum Boxing Podcast. Boom, right there. Boom. I just dropped a new video. I mean, a new, a new episode. New episode. Go get it right. You know what I'm saying? Go to, I know if you got an iPhone, you got this. You got podcast. Every iPhone got that. Boom. You click on podcast. Right? Boom, you go to Punch Run Boxing. We're at episode 74, matter of fact. Not episode 73. We're on episode 74. Go follow me on, um, on, on all the podcasts, social media, whatever. And let's do it like that. If you're not a person that just stay on YouTube, that you go to work and you, you have Spotify, you got Google Play, you got whatever. Follow me, follow me on the podcast. We got different type of ex exclusive, exclusive ish. Love y'all. Love y'all. God bless. And on to the next. Let me shut this one down. Peace out.